welcome to this part of the video uh, in this video we will be discussing about your uh, global positioning system or gps system so this is a well known system in every mobile it is there uh, you use the google map so how does it work so what is the work of that so we'll see that so gps first of all stands for global positioning system and what it is so it is a satellite navigation system which is about 20,000 kilometer away from the earth. So you can see this image here, one person is standing on the earth and looking into the map and the information or the GPS information that is received from the different different satellites. And these satellites are above 20,000 kilometer from the earth. Okay. And it can provide us a location and location and time information. Uh, it can provide the uh, GPS can provide this information. It can work 24 hours a day under any conditions. Okay, so there is no restriction how much time it can work. A complete GPS requires at least 24 satellites. As a technology developed, more than 33 satellites work together in a GPS. Now, what does this line means? So you see your Google Map. So sometimes the map is uh, the location is not perfect, right? So the location is a approximated location. You see one blue dot is there. So you will see. Uh, that in your uh, uh, GPS location there will be one blue dot will be there okay and after that one circle will be there with blue lines uh, means blue is there. So what does that mean it is saying that your location is somewhere inside this circle and this circle scale if you uh, closely notice in the Google map it might be up to 200 meters okay it is saying that your location is somewhere here within 200 meters means it is not sure that what is the exact location but within 200 meters the location is there. Now to get more accurate location means pin point location so it needs at least 20 signals from 24 satellites ok. So if your uh, mobile is not receiving or the GPS device installed inside your mobile is not receiving sufficient amount of satellite signals or less than 24 satellite signals then it will give you a approximated uh, location ok. Now as the technology develop more than 33 satellite can work together means your uh, mobile GPS device can receive signal from 33 different uh, uh, satellites and it will give you the accurate location. So there is a mobile application also satellite uh, GPS test so you can download that and you can see that from how many satellite your mobile is receiving signal. So basically this is the uh, over overview of your satellite uh, uh, GPS system ok. Now how does the GPS work what is the working principle of that let us see that. So the satellite have covered virtually every corner of the earth ok as the satellites are above the earth and throughout the earth the satellites are placed it is not like one satellite there are thousands of satellites are there and there are some specific satellite which is used for GPS there are some other satellites they are also used for partly for GPS. So no matter where you are at least 4 GPS satellites can be visible at any time ok. So it is saying that if you are in a hilly area very high uh, altitude hills or mountains are there if you are uh, between them also then at least 4 satellite can be seen visible. Visible means what? If it is possible to see how many satellites are uh, visible to your eye then at least 4 satellite will be there ok. Visible does not mean that uh, uh, it is uh, visible in uh, bare eye it is not like that it means that on above you at least 4 satellites are there which are in direct connection with you ok. So everyone regularly transmit information about their location and real time. So these satellites what do they do so what do they transmit and what do your mobile receive? So they generally transmit two informations one is their position and one is the time. So let us say it is 0 time, it is 1 time, it is 2 time some unit millisecond, microsecond, nanosecond anything it can be and the position let us say it is x1, it is x2, it is x3 and it is x4. So these position are always fixed. So satellites are orbiting the earth in a fixed position, fixed orbit ok, fixed location. So the speed of the satellite and the rotation of the earth is properly synchronized so that they always seem to be at the same location at each point of time. So what do they send? So they send I am at x1 location and my time is 0. So it says I am at x2 location and my time is 1. So the satellites also coordinate with each other to maintain this distance position and the time also. 
okay so everyone everyone means what every satellite so this everyone means every satellite regularly transmit information about their location and the real time now these signals that are traveling at the speed of light are intercepted by the gps re receiver so when this signal are transmitted from the satellite to the earth then they travel at a speed of light when they are traveling at a speed of light then the delay or the uh, the uh, late uh, receiving of the signal is negligible it is not taken into account so when this information is received by the satellite receiver that is inside your mobile then it process that it calculates and it tells you the what is the uh, position so what happens and the gps receiver calculates the distance of each satellite from us based on the length of the time and the information arrives okay so based on the length of the time how much time is took to reach you and other information that is the position and the time based on that it decide that i am uh, currently standing at which position like this the gps system works now what a gps receiver does is locate four or more satellites and calculate the distance between each of them okay so this there are four satellites so one gps receiver receive signals from at least four satellites so to get a location it needs signal from at least four satellite and calculate the distance between each of them using this information gps tracking tracking system in your car or other devices finds out the current location simply your google map okay the information is presented as maps latitude and longitude specification so how your google map exactly works is your uh, mobile device has a gps system so the gps collects all this data from the satellite and then it process that what is the information inside them and final output is like only the final output is what is the longitude and latitude of of the mobile okay and that that longitude and uh, latitude data is an integrated to the map available in the google okay so based on the longitude and latitude so it is located that okay on the map you are standing on this point okay so that is how your google map works now if we go further how does it exactly work what is the uh, thing there so basically it works on the concept something called as triangulation okay so it works on the concept of triangulation what is that that means here in on the earth one point is on gps device is there and it receives signal from four satellites but here triangulation concept uh, three satellites are shown here so basically it receives uh, signals from here on from the three satellites and the three satellite also are communicating with each other about their position okay now in the next uh, uh, slide let us discuss it what happens there okay now let us uh, see that there are three satellites at there okay now let us consider your mobile device or your gps device is receiving signal from the first satellite okay now if it is receiving signal from the first satellites consider these satellites are not there okay consider these satellites are not there and your mobile mobile device has received one signal from this satellite now the uh, let's say the mobile device is somewhere in this circle because the satellite is sending signal in all the direction the electromagnetic wave propagates in all the direction okay now any device that receives the signal from this satellite we will know that so the location of the mobile device is in this radius okay because it will calculate that from which satellite the uh, signal is coming and how far it is so it will see that these are the possible position means this this circle is the possible position where is the mobile device is located now mobile device doesn't know it is on the earth or it is on the aeroplane or it is in the space it is just receiving a signal from a satellite which says that you are at somewhere in this circle which is the range of the satellite now after this this information is not sufficient to know whether where is the exact mobile location because it can be anywhere in this point in this circle next what happens let us see it receives signal from second satellite also now consider this satellite is not there so what happens now from the first satellite information it knows that the location is somewhere on this circle okay now when it receives the signal from the second satellite also then it will know this location might be somewhere in this okay now when these two satellite data are intersect with each other then there is one possibility that the location is somewhere in this intersection point it cannot be here it cannot be here so it is in this 
sum of this intersection point ok. Now, when the third satellite comes into picture, so this third satellite is there. So, what happens? Now, you know that the location is somewhere here from the two satellite. Now, when the third one comes, now what is the location? Location will be obviously intersect of three satellites. So, now this is the intersection of three satellite. Now, it is known that here is the presence of the device on the earth. Okay. Now, you can see this picture where it says that basically here it is shown as a circle, but if you see a satellite in 3D space, basically it is not a circle, the possible location will be a sphere. right? So, this is how four satellites possible locations are there and wherever the satellite meets, wherever the common point is there, then on the earth that is the actual location. So, that is why receiving signal from one satellite will not give you the information about the location, it requires information from four satellites. Okay? So, that is how your GPS system works and your satellite location or your uh, mobile location or device location is calculated. Okay? So, this is a simple uh, uh, work of uh, satellite. Okay? So, this is uh, from this video and in the next video we will be discussing some more things about uh, how uh, microwave is uh, affect, how a microwave affects the human body and all. So, from this video that is it about the satellite uh, GPS system.